Hi everyone, it's Pamela Ferguson. But today I wanted to talk about debt. What would you do if you had zero debt? Now, I am also realistic, and if you have a home, obviously you're not gonna have zero debt. But beyond that, maybe even like, what if you only had a house payment? What would you do? How would that make you feel? It really kind of stuck with me, and it made me run things through my mind to think, well, what would I do? And I am one of those people who, I don't like to carry debt. And then you think about it, what would an additional $200 a month do for you and your family? What could you do with an additional $200 a month? How much difference could that make in your life? Could you pay off your student loans? You know, work on paying them off? Could you put money aside for a retirement fund? Could you pay off a credit card that you've been plagued with for years? These are things that even as small as $200 a month can make a huge difference to your family. You have to think outside the box. Let's say you have a job that you like, you have your insurance, but there's no room for growth. You know, you haven't had a raise in two years. Um, you're making, you're paying your bills, but you're not being able to do the things that you want to do. What are you doing today to change that? Nothing changes if nothing changes. So you have to make a change today and say, you know what, I'm going on my life, I'm doing what I was supposed to do, but I'm not where I want to be. So what do I have to do differently to get me back on track? Clearly doing what you're doing is not enough. Not that it's not a good thing, you know, you're working hard. Many of you know that um, I went the very traditional route. I, you know, went to uh, college, I got good grades, I went to grad school, I got a master's degree, I got a job, and literally the day I was supposed to go back to work, from having my first child, maternity leave, they said, we've eliminated your job. So I'm standing in front of my boss and was like, what the heck? I did exactly what I was supposed to do, but yet I'm still standing right here. Sometimes you have to say, I've got to do something different. Something's got to change because I don't want to be there anymore. You can decide. You, you are the only one who can decide, hey, this trajectory, this path that I'm on, it's, it's not getting me where I want to be. What do I have to do different to get me on a path I want to be? What would you do if you had no debt? What if all of your earnings could go toward making the life that you wanted to make? Maybe going on vacation, giving back to charity, to something that really means a lot to you. Saving for your child's uh, college. Saving for your own retirement. Tell you a story. My dad passed away years ago, suddenly. He was one of those people who lived day to day. He had his normal credit card debt. And so, unfortunately, he didn't have a will. So if you don't have a will, make sure you get one right away. But my brother and I had to go through the whole process of paying off all of his debt, doing all of these things because he never planned ahead. So if that's you, it's gonna be your kids that are gonna to have to deal with that. Again, passed away suddenly, heart attack. You know, it wasn't like he was sick. So those are the things you have to think about now. Um, I read this, uh, it was a meme, and it was like, Noah didn't build the ark when it started raining. He built it before, right? He was prepared. Are you prepared? How can you get prepared? What do you have to do prepared? The last question I want to leave you with is, what would you do if you had no debt? Think about it. Have a great Friday, and I hope to see you all soon. Have a great day.